hey guys welcome back so in the previous video we have seen how to do UART reception via polling method in stm32 in this video i will be showing you how to do UART reception in interrupt mode so for that we will be using uh, UART2 uh, you can use any peripheral i am using l4768 controller i am putting it in asynchronous mode as we are not using any clock now uh, if you are in i mean if you need to configure the board rate configure it in the parameter setting go to nvec settings to enable the interrupt so here you can see you are to global interrupt enable the particular you are interrupt you are using and uh, there is no more settings here you can see uh, tx is a2 and rx is a3 similarly connected to the usb2 ttl uh, of the rx and tx now generate the project yeah the first and foremost thing you have to do is like um, uh, basically enable UART interrupt so for that you will be using a um, HAL NVIC library so this is like a basic thumb rule for if you want to use any kind of an interrupt so you have to pass the particular IRQ number via this so how do we find this IRQ just uh, you know go to the HAL NVIC here you can see the IRQ type go to the IRQ type so now we are using uh, you know UART 2 so we will be having a UART 2 IRQN so the specific number is you can see you are to IRQN so just copy it come back here then the particular type you have to copy it here yeah so this will work fine uh, one more thing you have to do you can do is like set the you know the priority of the particular you know uh, interrupt you I mean if you are using multiple interrupts you can use otherwise you can skip the settings so I'm just setting the priority so IRQN number is like same and I'm putting the priority as 0 if you don't want the setting just uh, skip 10 seconds that's it yep that's that and uh, now we have to go to the documentation of L, uh, L4 so we can see when, so basically in the documentation you can see how you are receive it is there this you are using in polling method how you are receive so this we can use in the reception method so and also one more thing uh, we have a callback method rx call so whenever the interrupt is happening this particular method will be called back so when you go inside the trend uh, receive it yeah you can see receives an amount of data in interrupt mode so this will actually put up i mean how many uh, what is the handle of the URL to interrupt data and what is the buffer you want to get the data into and what is the size you want to capture it so the interrupt will be generated and uh, we will be using this in that uh, particular callback function uh, which i have just told before so that's that we will just copy it from here yeah that's the hal you are receive it we'll be using uh, this uh, uart handle will be declared globally uh, we will also declare the you know the data buffer globally because uh, uh, you know we want to use in the callback function so callback will be a uh, function outside the main loop so we will be you know calling so in the in the tutorial we'll be uh, like uh, getting only one data at a time in the UART handler so that's that data and the size okay uh, we had to uh, since it's a pointer we will pass the address pass by reference yeah. so we'll be getting only one byte yeah that's that so the interrupts in when we enable the interrupts via GUI interrupts will be defined in, inside this uh, l4 access it.c so you can see UART to IRQ handler and mini cystic handler all interrupts are defined here so if you go to the file of Hollywood IRQ, you can see, um, yeah, you can see the Hollywood RX call. This one. So this is actually a you know a weak kind of a function, which means uh, we can define back it in the you know in the main uh, loop. So it will be more handy for us if we are declaring it there. So that's that. Inside this function, we will receive the buffer. I mean the UART data so just remove this you can clearly read the documentation if need, I mean if needed a more explanation so that's that yeah so 
that is the mechanical. The debugger settings, everything you can keep the default settings. Yeah, so I will be keeping a breakpoint in the callback function and also I will be keeping a breakpoint up in the it.c as well. We can see how it is coming up. Okay, that's that. Go to the device manager and check like where you have connected the you know this uh, serial port so USB to TTL you can do the RxTX connection I have I mean I already used the virtual COM port of the my nuclear development board so that is actually COM port 4 if you have connected um, you know USB TTL to the particular pin you have connected you can search the COM port for that so that's actually COM port 4 mine yeah, so I will be sending a data S. Okay, let me send it T now. Yeah. Yes, you can see it hit the basic IR UART handler. This is like a global handler. So you can see here we have received the data. What is actually the data? You can see it is T. So if I just add an expression data, you can see. Yeah. So the value of data is T. That's that and uh, let me send it again. Uh, let me remove the big breakpoint from the other one. Okay. Now it should directly hit here. I. Yep. Expressions. You can see we got I here. Yeah. So that's that. 